Alright guys, welcome to another episode. Uh, we got a 97 to 2003-ish, I don't know, Ford F-150 uh, extended cab. It's got the suicide rear doors and a lot of times uh, these cables that are in the, the door here uh, stop working. And you can't get into the damn thing. So instead of buying new cables you can buy a repair kit and uh see these cool little things right here all right and this repair kit replaces the ends on the cables you already have and you reuse your cables it saves you a lot of money and a lot of time waiting on parts but uh if you have one of these trucks i would advise you to go ahead and order some of these they're a few dollars throw me a glove box keep them in your toolbox and uh when it happens replace them or just go ahead and do it now before uh you can't get into your back door and you got to bring it to somebody like me and we got to tear into your truck. So, got to get this upper panel off, lower panel off. We'll be right back. A little quick tip. Unscrew those two Phillips head screws before you go popping this whole panel off. All right. That kind of sucks once you get the panel all popped off. And it's got tension on those screws and you're trying to get them undone. Go ahead and pull those screws. And, and be careful because this window is going to be relaxed. But don't try to push it out. You know, you don't want to pop it or, or bust your glass. It's not likely, but it could happen. So just be careful with your glass. All right. Um, let me get this stuff off and we'll continue. All right. So as you can see, we got it off. Um, these clips right here. You see that? These clips right here. That's what holds the panel on. They just slide right into these slots. So you just try to get as close to the base as you can and push back with your hand and pop it off. And, uh, and you got these Phillips head screws here and then one 10 millimeter nut right there. And then this panel slides up and off. Let me get them uh, loose and I'll show you. Like I said, this is a quick and dirty video. Just quick, simple, easy. Look, once you take that 10 millimeter nut off and those two Phillips head screws, all you got to do is lift this up and it comes straight off. All right, uh, when you're putting it back on, notice these pieces here slide in these slots here you see that you see that right there we got some over here and then two more down there at the bottom I don't know if you can see that or not anyways so next you got this clear or this uh, white plastic piece if you pull that back you see the mechanism here we go it's that little cable piece down in there that's broke now that controls your lower latch and then there's a cable that goes from your lower latch to the upper latch you see that cable runs straight down to this latch down here all right so what we're going to do we're going to get a pair of pliers grab that cable pull up and then open with the door handle and if it's just the lower cable that's messed up that should come right open uh, by pulling that cable that you see in the picture there by pulling that one up and then pulling on the door lever at the same time see how it's all messed up right there all right let me uh, let me get some pliers over here. So if you just grab this with some pliers, there we go. Look at that. Look how easy that open. So you just grab that with some pliers, pry it up, and. Releases the bottom latch the bottom latch connects to the top latch and the door opens wide open now If that did not work that means the cable from here to here is also messed up And you got to pull this and repair that the same way. We're going to repair this All right, so I go ahead went ahead took the speaker out gonna pull the plastic down if I can get to all this All right, you just pull that plastic back and here's that cable now I'm going to show you how to repair this cable while it's in the door you can pull it from this down here if you like, but it's not necessary with the kit that we got. Um, I would pull this one just because it's already broke and it, just because it's already broke and it's free. Plus, to get this loose, you just pop that yellow clip right there and, and that piece comes out. Now, remember how much thread depth you got right there because this adjusts this cable as far as your handle's working again later, okay? 
So just kind of make a mental note, maybe take a picture with your cell phone and uh, uh, remember that thread depth right there that's on top so we can put that back the way it was before. All right, let me get this thing out and I'm gonna show you a little trick. All right, so we got that clip popped loose. You just go ahead and pop that right out. Easy enough, right? Now this is loose. This is what I'm talking about is broke, okay? And we're gonna replace all of this here, all right? Um, the cable's gonna stay in the door for this repair. Some repairs, you may have to remove the entire cable on some Fords, but for this one in particular, we're gonna leave it. Holy crap, come on. I can rebuild an entire truck, but I cannot get this damn clip. There we go. Nope. Oh my God. All right. Finally. All right. Now you could take whatever you want, razor knife or any kind of pliers or side cutters. I use these just because, well, they're the perfect size and they're kind of handy. And I'm just going to, uh, let's see how I'm going to do this with one hand. So you just take this and start peeling it back. I mean, as crumbled as this one is, you could probably just do it with regular old, you could probably do it with regular old pliers. See how that just crumbles back, All right? All right, let me get the rest of this off and uh, we'll get the new input on. All right, so this is what it looks like once you get the whole piece off. You see that inner sleeve there, how it slides up and down? All right, that's okay, that's supposed to do that. And uh, when you put your new sleeve on, your new uh, aluminum repair kit, you're gonna see what stops it in there so it doesn't keep sliding up and down with the cable. Um, the here we go there you go this there's two different styles there's one like this and then there's the other one like this here and you see the difference all right the one like this here that's that's let me focus there you focus there we go the one that's like that right there, it's not quite shaped like the other one. Now that's for that, that upper piece up there. Okay, and the ones like these here will be for these, these cables that go from here to here. And then the bottom part of that cable that goes from there to there. But that top one is going to use that odd shaped one. Alright, so you see, the, you see the gap here. All you're going to do is slide it over the cable. Kind of self-explanatory. Kind of hard doing it with one hand once you get it over the cable you slide it down as far as you can now inside here see if i get this thing to focus again inside here you see little grooves there's a little groove right in there and that cable is going to slide all the way up to the groove let me get it all the way in i'm going to need both hands to do it and i'll show you what it looks like once it's all the way down all right so it's all the way down you can see the black and the little uh center piece and then focus see how it all sets in there just right all right oh, camera's having a hard time focusing on this thing might be the reflection I don't know there we go but there it is now because this is so tight up against the cable don't do it to the point where you bend the cable but you need to run this thing up and down maybe even put some uh, graphite in there so it slides real smooth and uh, Whoa, 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 crap. Slide real smooth. And you can put this one, go ahead and put it back in, and then we'll get to the bottom one. Now, this bottom one, you can repair the same way. You're just gonna be fixing it while you're in the door. Now, that's kind of impossible for me to film it and do it at the same time because of space limitations. So, uh, I'm just gonna show you that you do not have to unhook this to repair it while it's in the door. You just use your cutters, your razor knife, or whatever you're using to get this black piece off and uh, fix it while it's in the door. All right, just like we work this one up and down, because this one is where it's at, 
you can't really work it up and down and make sure it's smooth so once you get your door all hooked back up you pull it and then you work this cable back down pull it and you work that cable back down you pull it and work that cable back down and what that's going to do is going to start freeing up that aluminum uh, burrs on the edge down there as that cable slides in and out of it it's going to free that up just like we did up here earlier all right um, got everything on without tearing up our plastic too bad let's see what it does all right this is first try oh first try there you go all right so we got them fixed now I know this isn't the production quality I like doing on most videos or but it's just like the uh, voltage regulator on the Dodge video I got you know it's it's a quick little dirty thing that, that comes in the shop every once in a while I want to help some people out and maybe let them get it fixed at their own house and uh, if you enjoyed and if this helped like subscribe it really helps out and uh, if you have any questions comment down below yeah, we got a